Welcome to a new month, still with its restrictions, but still filled with hope and God's love through the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Today is Trinity Sunday. So as we come, we in the Reformed tradition pray that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rests upon us. Let us pray. You, Lord God, you are the one who speaks volumes into our lives. You spoke in creation and over the waters and created so much. For through the Ruach and the Holy Spirit that rested in you, new life came. New life through who you are as creator, sustainer, redeemer, and friend. So come, Lord God, and take full control of our worship and our praise. For we declare it in Christ's name. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. Submission, perfect delight, visions of a rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending, bringing from above echoes of mercy, whispers of love. song praising my Savior all the day long this this is my story it is my song praising my Savior all the day long perfect submission all is at rest I in my Savior I am happy and blessed watching and waiting looking above filled with his goodness and lost in my Savior's love why I sing this, this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long, this is my story. Our scripture today comes from Matthew chapter 28, just a few verses, verses 16 to 20. And they are again taken from the New Revised Standard Version. This is called the commissioning of the disciples. Now the 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, 
All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God for his word. Amen. Let us pray. Speak, Lord God. Speak through your Holy Spirit. Speak your redemptive power through Christ. And let your word come alive. For we declare it in Christ's name. Amen. Life, love, and beauty. That's what we need. The triune God is ever calling and asking us to take our place among the tree. Nowhere, nowhere is that better portrayed than in Andrei Rublev's icon of the Holy Trinity. You'll be seeing it on your screens. It's based on the story of the three men who visit Abraham. And in theological schools, we hear that for nearly 700 years, Rublev's icon has been the church's attempt to express what cannot be spoken and portray what cannot be seen. Three persons, distinct but not separate. They look just alike, though dressed in different colored robes. They share the same expression. Their bodies and their postures are alike and form a circle of unity and oneness. Three persons, one that is life, one that is love, and one that is beauty. That's not just about God and the three persons, it is about us. If you notice the picture, you'd realize that there's an empty space at the table around which these three are gathered. Who might that be for? Is it for you? Is it for us? You see, for me, it's an invitation to partake in the community of who our God is. To be the oneness of the community. And we are to live our lives in that life of God. For it is in, in Him we live and move and have our being. That's what Acts says. In Him we move and live and have our being. So our being must picture God in how we live, Emmanuel. That's the promise Jesus makes in today's gospel. I am with you always. God before us and God behind us. God on our left and God on our right. God above us and God beneath us. God within us and we within God. Jesus says, I am with you always. You see, the Trinitarian life that we live in God is what water is to a fish. It is our environment. You cannot be a Christian without understanding who God is as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It is ever present. Is It is ever encompassing. It searches you. It invites you. It is in your absence and in your distance even now as we are apart, that we see God. Where is the ocean as the fish? Maybe that's why Jesus begins his promise of his presence and says, remember, I am with you always. Remember that we are part of a community. Though apart, we are part of a community. So what if we left here today and we leave our worship just remembering the words of Jesus' promise. But if we are able to open ourselves to experience that promise, how might that experience change your life? What would you dare? What would you imagine? What strength and hope and consolation might come with that experience? What might God do that would cause you in wonder and awe to doubt? Regardless of who you are, what you may have done or left undone, what has happened and what is happening in your life and where you are going or what you encounter, please remember and hold on the promise. For the presence is real and it's not a promise to be realized in the future only. It's a promise that has already been and continues to be fulfilled. For Jesus says, I am with you always. Let us pray. 
Holy Father, Creator, Sustainer, and Giver of Life, take us and mold us to believe. Holy Son, Redeemer, and Giver of Salvation, walk with us and talk with us. And Holy Spirit, come and revive us today. For we are a people of a community sitting together, though distant, at the same table, in a community of faith, believing who you are. For we declare it in Christ's name. Amen. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I am found. Was blind, but now I see. Towards grace that taught my heart to fear. And grace my fears relieved How precious did, did that grace appear The hour I first believed The Lord has promised He's promised good to me His word my hope secures He will my shield My shield and portion be As long as life and your For the long haul, friends, this life, changing journey that we are called to walk, I say, stay safe, stay sane, and stay under the sun, Jesus Christ.